we are at the back of the uh, north wall of the first pylon. Now, remember we saw those shields in the block yard and here where the edge is cut in the right angle there, can you see that row of shields going down? And then you can see the row of shields going along. And in the middle, we have the chaos of the Egyptian camp. This is prior to the Battle of Kadesh. So they're um, making uh, weapons, they're sorting out their food, looking after their animals, everything like that. Now, in front of that, we have Ramses sitting with all his might and majesty on top of his throne. Now, um, Ramses is intensely proud of the Battle of Kadesh, uh, but it's not quite how the Egyptian history books like to portray it. Um, at best, this could be considered a draw, um, the, but Ramses always portrays it as a victory on the... <laughs> The, the sort of equivalent of the Normandy beach landings or something like that. He doesn't uh, tell you anything about what went wrong or the problems he had. He pretends it was all wonderful and he saved the day. Now, in front of him, there are three scenes and I'd like you to look at this scene here. This is where he messed up. Now, what we have is some men holding sticks above their hand, heads and there are two men in between holding up their hands in supplication. Now what has happened here is that Ramses has captured two Hittite spies. Um, he's um, beating them up to get information out of them and they've said to him, Ramses it's all right you can attack the town of Kadesh the Hittite army has left it and it's all clear to go in there. They were lying. Uh, and Ramses believed them. he was a very hot headed young man and he was like, yes, we're going to go and attack Kadesh. So he goes galloping ahead and the Egyptian army was divided into four divisions, um, but he went ahead so fast that these divisions got straggled out. So he arrived at Kadesh with uh, one division and yes, you guessed it, the Hittite army were in residence and an almighty battle ensued. Now, uh, what happened was the Egyptians ran. I mean, here they are only one division and the whole Hittite army is against them. But Ramses, according to the propaganda, did not run him saved the day and scattered the entire Hittite army and won out. Uh, he doesn't mention that the other three divisions happened to turn up at this point and help him just a little bit, but he is fair. 